I'm Robin. And this is Urban Hiking. But did he ever return? No, he never returned. And his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's the man who never returned. Hello, hello. We are here in Roxbury. I'm at Franklin Park right now. And today is exciting because we are going to be doing the Emerald Necklace. The entire Emerald Necklace. So if you don't know, the Emerald Necklace is sort of like a string of parks that goes all the way through the Boston area. And it was created and designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, whose most famous project is probably Central Park in New York City. He also designed our parks here in Boston. The Emerald Necklace is comprised of Franklin Park, which is where we're at right now, Arnold Arboretum of Harvard University, Jamaica Pond, Olmsted Park, the Riverway, the Back Bay Fens, the Charles River Esplanade, the Public Garden, and of course, Boston Common. I decided today that I didn't want to visit Boston Common and the Public Garden because I feel like this series is for people who live in Boston and if you live in Boston and haven't visited those places, obviously you can do it either going from the Esplanade to Franklin Park or you can go from Franklin Park to the Esplanade. This is gonna be probably the most urban hike we have done thus far. A lot of people, when I tell them I have a channel called Urban Hiking, they just go, so like walking through the city. And while that's not generally true, it will be pretty true this time. By the way, I just got here by taking the 22 bus. There's actually several stops where you can get off at Franklin Park, but my stop was Seaver Street at Humboldt Ave. I guess without any further ado, let's hike the Emerald Necklace. Starting off strong with Franklin Park, I must say. I've never actually been here to recreate. I've only been here for like events in like the big lawn that they have. It's very quiet. It's very nice, actually. We've come across some ruins. Not sure what the ruins are of, but cool. Thank you. A nature trail. There's a lot of open space here to just like walk around, have a picnic. And there aren't very many people here at all, although it is a Thursday, so you know. Little squirrel friend. Having a sit. Lots of animal friends. Well, that's cute. Yep. Looks like a picnic grove to me. There are literally so many trails to choose from. I don't know which direction to go. Ah, uh, going this way. Our Franklin Park journey is just about ending, although we did only explore a very small amount of the park. There's even a zoo 
but uh, I got places to be, so. Basically, you wanna get on the Arbor Way going towards Forest Hills Station, and that'll bring you all the way to our next destination, which is gonna be the Arboretum. It's pretty hot today. There she blows. Looks like we just about made it. Huzzah! We made it to the Arboretum. 281 acre landscape with over 15,000 trees, shrubs, and vines collected from around the world. Woo! That's right, we got Prunaceratina, Calopanic Septemlibus, Gladitia triacanthos, Rosacea, and who could forget? Acellus hippocastinum. These smell absolutely delicious. We've walked through a really small part of the Arboretum. There is so much to explore here. It is beautiful. It's all very pretty and you can learn about plants. We are on our way to our next stop, which is gonna be Jamaica Pond. And we are heading there now. Back on the Arbor Way. Okay, we made it through the traffic circle. Oh. Turn left onto Arbor Way. We made it. Behold, the pond. And that's Jamaica Tower. My friend Bill lives there. Hi, Bill. It's important to do your exercises. Doing a little loop-de-loop -loop around the pond. I've always wanted to visit this weird monument, but I don't know what it is or how to get there. So this is where John Hancock's mansion once stood. Me and my friends discovered this area when I was living right on Pond Street, which is right by the pond. And it's not really a secret area, but it kind of feels like a secret, you know? Big old tree. Look at that guy. <sighs> One time me and my friend group was walking along the path around the pond and you know most of my friends are queer but you know we don't go around you know wearing rainbows and shit we were just minding our own business dressed very well and cool and stylish right and this guy is sitting on a bench meanwhile it's not june it's like august okay he's sitting on a bench and we walk past him and he looks at us and he yells Hey, happy pride! And we were all like, what? Like, I'm always reminded of that man whenever I go to the pond. I hope he's doing well. Okay, so real talk. I am hungry. There's a JP Licks very close by. I'm gonna get a milkshake. Milkshake required. So once you make your extremely necessary detour for a strawberry, milkshake. You're going to want to walk back to the pond and hang a right to make your way into Olmsted Park. Just got to cross the old street here. Oh look, I even found a map. We are here-ish. And here we are in Olmsted Park, named after, you guessed it, Frederick Law Olmsted. And 
here we are crossing Huntington Avenue. This weird little path connects Olmstead Park with the Riverway, which runs all the way up to Fenway before it meets up with the Back Bay Fence. So there you go. Not gonna lie, this is a long walk. And here is where you want to jaywalk across the street. Nailed it. And I believe this is our last road crossing. Welcome to the Riverway, baby. As you might expect, the Riverway runs the length of the Muddy River all the way up into the Fenway area. And it's very nice. And there are lots of turtles. Little babies. I forgot that they will often have art installations as well along the path, just right in the trees. I got scared for a minute because they have fencing, but looks like it's accessible. This is an arch. I don't know if it has a name, but I really like this arch because of the, uh, I guess, sonic abnormalities. Well, let me see if I can demonstrate. Wow, 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 wow. It's like when you're in here, there's this crazy fun echo, but then as soon as you step out of the space, it is not like that. <laughs> I just really like it because you can just move from space to space and the sound la 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 I don't know, I think it's cool. They gave a tree a necklace. And now we're in Fenway. Just wanna Cross the pedestrian death trap here. Here we go. Made it. It's just maybe another five minute walk to the fence. These are the Victory Gardens, just like community plots. It's always nice to walk through. of our journey is going to be the Charles River Esplanade, which is definitely going to be a little bit of a walk on the sidewalk, but it's worth it, I think. It's a really sweet spot, especially this time of day. Onward we go. Basically, you want to walk down Boylston towards Mass Ave, and when you get to Mass Ave, you want to take a left. Now this is some urban hiking. And then as you come up to the Mass Ave Bridge, there should be a 
little walkway coming off the bridge to your left and that's how you get down to the Esplanade. Good old Starro Drive. y'all we walked from Franklin Park all the way to the Charles River Esplanade and now I'm on a hammock all in all it was about 10 miles long walk obviously many of you have been to one or more of these parks probably most of you have but I thought it would be cute and fun to do the entire emerald necklace in one day and we did it, and I had fun. Hope you guys did too. Like, subscribe, and whatever else you want to do, and have a good one. See you next time. Well, did he ever return? No, he never returned, and his fate is still unlearned. He may ride forever neath the streets of Boston. He's the